So people, I have found two brand new joy toys I haven't seen anybody at all mention. These are unlocked though through a side mission you take part in later on in the game. And well, this is what you need to do to get these. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, to give back for the amazing support on my channel since this game dropped, I'm giving you guys a chance to win any game of your choice. To enter my weekly competition, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed with notifications turned on. Good luck. So the two joy toys aka hookers you can have those sex scenes with, the ones everybody know about are within Jig Street and they are there for you to experience from the start of the game, I do believe. And I myself and I know many other people thought these were the only ones in the game, but actually guys there are two more in which you can unlock later on down the line. They do cost 3k edits each per session, so they are a little more upmarket. And today, guys, I will show you how you can unlock these so you can waste all that money you glitched to get. Okay, so these are unlocked or become available after you take part in a mission called Off the Leash. This is a side mission chain featuring Keryuridine, and it will take you a certain while to get to this point. Okay, so this starts or first starts upon you completing Tapeworm, which is a mission that auto completes upon you completing four of the main story missions. They are Automatic Love, Transmission, Life During Wartime, and Search and Destroy. Completing these will auto complete Tapeworm and then open up Chipping In, which is a mission where you and Rogue go in search of Adam Smasher. After this mission, depending on what path you choose, Beefer and Johnny at the end of chipping in, you have to go on to complete Blistering Love, which in turn, after completing that, will open up Holding On. If you don't befriend Johnny at the end of chipping in, you will open up Holding On straight away. So upon completing Holding On, you then unlock Second Conflict. Upon completing Second Conflict and waiting 24 hours in game time, you will then unlock A Like Supreme. When you complete a -like Supreme, you then have to wait 12 hours in game time and head to Keryuridine's house, which you will then be prompt with the next mission called Rebel Rebel. Upon completing Rebel Rebel, you unlock another side mission called I Don't Wanna Hear It. Upon you completing this I Don't Wanna Hear It and waiting 12 hours in game, you unlock Off The Leash, which is where you need to be. Now I will state this is by far one of the best mission chains in this game. So do this anyway even if you ain't interested in Joy Toys. So within this mission you meet Kerry and go spend a few seconds with him on a balcony where you can trigger I believe the start of a romance with him by kissing him actually. I'm not sure if it matters if you kiss him or not but this is where the romance I do believe starts. So after speaking to Kerry on that balcony, you then have to leave the building. What I did was I left the building, stole a car, then drove down the street, skipped time by 48 or 72 hours, and then I got a call from Kerry. Upon getting this call from Kerry at this time, I noticed then two joy toys were then added to the map. And they are within that building you just left Kerry on that balcony. So guys, if you have that money to waste, head back to that building where these are located and then you can have that fun. Before I'd make a video on these, I don't think hardly anyone knows about them, so do enjoy people. But yes, it is as simple as that and this is how you unlock two new joy toys. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. What's someone like you doing here all by your lonesome? can be such a bore, but I can tell you're different. Care to keep me company? Tell me all about your day. Bad. Not bad at all, really. I'd love to make it even better. And how's that? I know of a few dozen ways. Maybe hundreds. Right. You got me curious. Follow me.